hello everyone welcome to two and 3d so about three months ago or so i was contacted by a client who wanted me to convert his ai generated images into um, adobe character animator puppets these were the images he sent so this 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 um there were about seven seven characters or uh, seven images or so and he sent me the background images also this is one of the character with the background um a kitchen kind of this and so i went into i went straight to work i went into blender and recreated the kitchen well he told me he didn't want exactly the same kitchen but something similar so i went into blender and modeled this and um, this is the render the final render of the background image so after that I went into Adobe CH and then I created the puppet and uh, made it with so many triggers as usual. Um, I used Adobe Illustrator to cut out the image, moved it to Photoshop and then I fixed it. And I'm going to do make a separate tutorial that explains this more comprehensively. I, I am just busy with certain things. That is why I've not, that is not in the works right now, but I definitely will jump into it and I'll show you exactly how to make yours. Um, cut make out your um, your Adobe Illustrator uh, sorry rather your AI images into um, CH puppet so when I was done making the puppet the he I think he used the puppet in as much as it had so many features he still wanted certain things to be added to the puppet and instead I, I told him that okay let me just make the animation for you um, it will be way more easier and it will be less expensive so he agreed and I ended up making the, um, the the animations for him. So my process was sort of like, I this is my process. I make it in Adobe Illustrator um, and then um, move it to Photoshop. And then from Photoshop, I make it into a puppet in Adobe Character Animator. And after that, I do the I run the animation and then I export it in, with a green screen background. And then that is where I do the post processing because then I make the backgrounds in Blender and then I just join everything in, in Adobe Premiere Pro and everything comes out really great. As you can see, this is our character in the background and uh, interacting with like just talking. That's basically the animation that he wanted me to make, just her talking and maybe moving her hands and her body and stuff like that. And uh, for most of the most of the videos that I made, it was just mostly talking because it's sort of like an ad video. Or so, so um, it's basically the same thing I did for every other um, videos I created. The subsequent videos I ended up creating for the client. Screen, um, export, and then use that export to make the uh, final. This and that's after creating the background itself. So it's sort of the same process that's at least that's the way me i do it the other ways you can adopt just do whatever but at the end of the day it's the same process to create the character you cut out certain parts of the character you have to re remake the eyes the hands and some of those other things that you know you'll be animating or you want them to move in adobe character animator and hopefully when i release the actual video like the com a comprehensive tutorial about how i actually made this or a separate one i'm going to be making a different uh, character probably with a different uh, ai image so it's still the same process you just need to know what exactly you want to be animatable and those are the features that you have to concentrate on and maybe if you want them to be cycles then you have to come in and then you you make like a, a different um, sequence of the same the same feature I remember working on this one and I, if, if you look the background the entire background is 3d like i actually had to make every of this asset and i have them and hopefully i'm going to be um, using them for a different project or whatever so i had to create the chairs the just literally everything including the eiffel tower that you can see lighting up i had to create the lights and everything and this was one of the most difficult for me because uh, it, it actually took so much time because i had to get some things right be able to get it to look this way and i had to work in i know i know most of my tutorials are not about blender but um if for those that are conversant to blender i had to work with cycles and uh, my machine as at the time that I was making this as in the, mach the machine that i used to use that i mostly use for rendering was not really it was not really good at computing stuff like this 
So it took a while for it to render just one image. It took sort of a long time. And there's a reason why I do not use Blender. Like you could actually just move your character into Blender and then directly render everything at once. But instead I export them as, as, um, as, an, as a PNG, as an image file. And then from there I place them as a um, background. And in some cases I find a way to put in the shadows. Like when he's moving around, there's a way that you could actually get his shadow to also move and it will reflect on the back on the ground. I don't know if I'm making so much sense, but maybe in the tutorial, you'll be able to get some of this. But um, the reason why I did not do that directly in Blender is because it takes a lot of time to render in Blender, especially when light, when you are, want it to be more realistic and you want light to bounce around the environment. So that's a bit uh, this thing. So uh, I would say if you are if you are using a good computer and you are patient enough to allow it to render for days, or your if your computer is very good, maybe it's for some hours, then fine, you can do that. But uh, it's just way better to just export it as an image and find a way to 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 join everything together. Okay, so that's basically it. Um, hopefully, when I release this uh, tutorial, you'll be able to watch. I know that this I've gotten requests. From so many people to actually make this and it's just a matter just because i've been working on different projects i'm actually currently working on uh, a, on a game design just aside from my usual um, work and i still have to be uploading videos here so please give us a like give us a sub it will really help us to reach more people and it will help us to reach you in the future with more contents like this and way more better content thank you for watching and bye for now